Hey y'all, it's Dr. Tiffany. I hope you're doing well. So, um, a lot of questions that I got a couple of days, I'm going to try to answer a couple of them in this video. Like, um, for one, does the pneumonia vaccine prevent this mystery pneumonia? Unfortunately, the answer to that is no. The reason why is because the pneumonia vaccine prevents a bacteria named Streptococcus pneumoniae from causing pneumonia. Normally, that is uh, responsible for half of pneumonia cases that occur. So basically, the pneumonia vaccine reduces your chance of getting um, pneumonia by a half. Um, it also, strep pneumonia is a fairly dangerous type of pneumonia as well, so it's half of the more dangerous types of pneumonia. Mycoplasma pneumonia, which is um, the primary one that I think is causing this um, mystery pneumonia, is um, a different type of bacteria, okay? Um, the analogy would be trying to kill wasps with ant spray. It's just the wrong thing, wrong drug for the wrong bug, okay? So unfortunately, it doesn't prevent the mystery pneumonia. Um, however, the mystery pneumonia is easily treated. Um, mycoplasma is easily treated with azithromycin, okay? That's actually what the ZPAC was invented for. Now, if you're allergic to azithromycin, there are alternative antibiotics also that would treat this. So that's the mainstay of therapy for the mycoplasma pneumonia. Some of the other pneumonias causing it are, some of the other agents causing this mystery pneumonia are, some of the cases are due to RSV. That is not preventable with antibiotics, but it, there is a vaccine now available for RSV that just came out this year. Um, some of the cases are undoubtedly also influenza, which can cause a severe viral pneumonia as well. That is not preventable with antibiotics. However, there is Tamiflu, which is an antiviral that can help treat that. So there's also a vaccine for the flu. So, because the mystery pneumonia, it's not one bug, it's a grab bag of different things. The majority of the cases are mycoplasma though. So they call it a mystery pneumonia, but it's really not. It's just they're lumping everything together. I suspect that it's possible that it's due to weakened immune systems from people getting COVID, um, but there's not enough data to say that for sure. So other treatments people might do is they might do nebulizers for shortness of breath. They may do steroids if asthma or COPD is being uh, touched off by the, mis by, by the pneumonia. Um, the way we diagnose it is a chest x-ray. It can also be diagnosed by chest CT. However, this, that uh, really uh, is for, uh, they'll get you some of the more minor cases that would be missed otherwise, but severe pneumonia will show up on a chest x-ray. So sometimes um, people need IV fluids if they get dehydrated, and also fever control is important because pneumonia fevers can be quite high, and uh, that can lead to uh, dehydration. Um, if you think you're having these symptoms, see your doctor. I know it's a long video, but this is a lot of the questions that I've been asked uh, repeatedly in the comments. I do actually read the comments, so, um, or at least as many as I can. That one video, there was like 50, 12 or 1,500 of them. So, um, but uh, other than that, I love you. Stay safe.